Hey yo, what up guys, what it's your boy Soak Soak. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this amazing intro for your videos. Hell yeah. Alright, so open up Adobe After Effects. Open it up. Hit composition, composition. new composition, new composition. name your composition as, as intro video or some shit like that. What a boring name. And for the duration, uh, make it about 7 to 10 seconds long. And again, you don't want to make it too long, so yeah, keep that in mind. Gotcha. And after you're done setting up your duration, just hit OK. Yes sir. Go down to the bottom panel, panel. right click, and hit on new, solid. And name that layer. Background. Name it background, homie. You better do it. Alright, so after you're done with that, Yay. go to the right panel. Panel. Um, you'll see effects and presets. Presets. Just click there and just search for ramp. Ramp it is. Alright, now hit on that gradient ramp. Gradient just ramp. Just simply drag it over into your background layer. And overlap it. Alright, so that's good. Looking good. Then go to ramp shape and hit on radio ramp. Radio ramp. Alright. Alright. Simply lower the top knob to the middle. Top to the middle. Lower the bottom knob to adjust the size of the circle. So just keep adjusting the size of the circle. It's not that difficult. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. And for the color, I decided to do light blue and dark blue for this tutorial. But you can honestly just pick whatever you want it to be. It's your choice. No one's stopping you. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Picking the two colors and making it look swagalicious, delicious, delicious, and fantastic. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks about right. Yep. All right, so hit OK. OK. Go down to the bottom panel. The bottom panel. Hit on new. New. Solid. Solid. And name it particles. Particles. And we're going to try making this background look even sexier. Sexier right? than before. So go back into effects and presets. Presets. And simply search for particles. Particles. And drag the CC particle world effect into your particle layer. Replace it. And after that, go into your particle settings and change the birth rate to 0 0.5 0 0.5 now the longevity make it to 10 make it to 10 now open up the physics tab physics tab and make the velocity to 0 0.2 0 0.2 Two. All right, now head down to gravity. Gravity. And make it to zero. Zero. All right, so now that's done. Good job. Now open up the particle tab. Particle and tab. Change the particle type to faded sphere. To all you dummies, the particle type is faded sphere. <laughs> okay. Now for the birth size. Make it 0 0.05. 0 0.05. And the death size. Death size. 0 0.09. 0 0.09. Yep, that's it. And for the max opacity. Make it 100%. Yo, man, 100%. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, so for the birth color, just simply pick white. White. To give that soft feel to it, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. But again, you could pick whatever color you want it to be. You could pick whatever. Honestly, it's your choice. It's your preference. Ain't nobody stopping you. Nope. You know, pink is a dope color. It is. Honestly, dude. Awkward. All right, man. So you got your particle effects done. Yay! But notice how the particle effects don't come in till the midway through. What? And that really sucks. So we're just simply going to drag the particle layer to the left. So the clip actually starts off with the particles in motion. You're so smart. And just stretch the end of the particle layer for however long your clip is. Just keep stretching your particle layer for however long your clip is. There we go. It looks perfect. It absolutely does. All right, now go click that text icon. Text icon. On the top. On the top. Select the middle portion of the video. Just select it. And type your text. Type it. It could be your channel name. Channel. Your YouTube name. YouTube. I don't know, man. It could be anything. Anything. And for this tutorial, I use the font Master Plan. Master Plan it is. And for the size, just try to make it as big as possible. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> oh my so god. Funny. Dude, just shut up. Just pick a color of your preference. And again, I made it blue. Blue. Um, just because I was feeling a little blue when I made this tutorial. Blue, <laughs> And yeah, just keep increasing the size of the text so it aligns well with the video. Okay. And if you can't tell if it's in the center, I'm dumb. Sit on that little icon called Title and Action Safe. So you can simply align your text with the reference lines. Alright, so I'm going to take a while doing this part. So I'm just going to say a joke, alright? So why did the girl fall off the swing? Why did she? Because she had no arms. <laughs> <laughs> alright guys, I'm back. Just shut up, man. Shut up. After you're done, just go ahead and uncheck the little icon to get rid of the reference lines. Duh. And just hit play to see how your clip is turning out so far. Oh snap. It should probably look pretty dope at this point. <laughs> oh shit, it actually does. This part is optional, but if you want your text to have a gradient style, gradient. just right click your text layer. Go to layer styles and hit on gradient overlay. Gradient overlay. Just open the gradient overlay tab. Okay. And select the two gradient colors that you want your text to have. Hmm. What color should I pick? The blue. And for this tutorial, I pick purple and light blue. Cause you already know those two color combinations are always so damn sick. 
Trust me, man. You gotta trust me, Holmes, man. I keep yeah, it real yeah, from the bottom yeah, of my yeah, heart. You already know yeah, it's your boy sucks, yeah. man. Stop <laughs> flow. Now we're gonna try adding the outer glow to your text. So right click the text layer, and go to layer styles, and hit on outer glow. Outer glow. Now, open the outer glow tab, tab, and select your outer glow color. Mommy? Yes? What color should I pick? Why don't you just use a brain? I don't know. Are you serious? I'm so lost. Oh my god. <laughs> and for the size of the outer glow, just make it around 20. Mommy? Yes? This guy's telling me to make it to 20. Then make it to 20. I really don't know. You are so <laughs> annoying. Then go up to the blend mode and hit on multiply. Mommy? What is it, son? Should I really hit on multiply? Are you f***ing serious? Just hit on multiply. So yeah, just keep adjusting the color of the outer glow so that it blends well with the background. Mommy? Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> After you're done, just close everything and play your clip one more time. Alright, so this part's gonna take a while again. So let's say another joke. How do you light up a stadium? With a match. <laughs> if it looks good, the next thing we want to do is add your URL to your channel or whatever page you're promoting. Honestly, man, in today's society, it's all about self-promotion. So yeah, um, just pick your font. Font. Try to make the font a little smaller than the original text. Make it smaller. And keep adjusting it. Alright, 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 alright. So this part is really going to take time. So let me just say another joke. My last joke. Why are seagulls called seagulls? I don't know. Because if they flew over the bay... They will be called bagels. <laughs> After you're done with that, we're gonna try adding the audio spectrum now. The audio wave thingy. Alright, so now you need a song for your intro clip. You need a song. So try to find a song that's about 5 to 10 seconds long. 5 to 10. And it should be non copyrighted music. All right? Copyright sucks. So now go up to file. File. Hit on import. Import. Hit on file again. File again. And select your audio file. Select your audio. After you're done selecting your audio file, uh -huh. just drag the audio file into your bottom panel. Okay. For this tutorial, I honestly just used my song that I produced I'm cool. a couple days ago. Swag. So yeah. Dope, man. Now just right click, hit on new, solid and name that layer Spectrum. What about Audio Spectrum, Mom? It's the same thing! Go back to the effects and presets. Do it. Search for Spectrum. Spectrum. And drag that Audio Spectrum effect, effect. into your Spectrum layer. Ta-da! And if you don't see the Spectrum pop up in your video, Where is it? Just drag the Spectrum layer to the top. Oh, there it is. So now bring the Spectrum above your text. Bring it above. And then align the Spectrum with your text by adjusting the length. Alright, that's easy. And um, that looks about right. And again, just pick the color that you want your spectrum to be. What's up with the damn colors, dude? I'm getting tired. And after that, what is it? Go into your audio layer and your spectrum option. Okay. And select your audio file. To all you dummies, just select your goddamn audio. And for the side option, just select side A. So that the audio spectrum will be facing upwards. Like bouncing upwards, like into the sky. Or maybe into the universe. Or maybe far into Pluto. Who knows? <laughs> and for the maximum height, just make it around 1,800. Yes, sir. But again, just play around with the height, you know, and just set it to whatever feels right for you. Mommy, why aren't you talking to me anymore? I'm getting so sad. Please, mommy. I need your help. <laughs> and that's honestly about it. That's it. It's pretty much done now. Psych. But I kind of felt like it was missing something. Obviously. So I decided to add a film burn effect film burn. to give it a vintage feel to it. Hey, yo, man, you gotta love the vintage effect, man. So I dragged the film burn effect into the layer panel. Layer panel. And just messed around with the blending option. Blending option. To give it a perfect feel to it. But, Soaks, what is the definition to perfect? Um, you know what? That's a good question. But ain't nobody got time for that right now. Why not? <laughs> getting bored of this tutorial. And now I'm just copy pasting the first film burn effect to make it longer. Guess who's back? I lied. <laughs> this is the last, last, last joke that I'm gonna say for this video. So yeah, what did the fish say when it hit a wall? Um, is it gonna be stupid as your other jokes? Damn. <laughs> Alright, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And finally, I'm about to render the video. Render the video. So go up to file. File. Hit on the export. Export. And add it to the render queue. Render queue. Hit on lossless on the output model. Lossless. And select H.264 for the format. And hit on OK. OK. And finally, select the output option. Uh -huh. And save a video to your desktop. Desktop. And boom, just hit on render. Boom goes the dynamite. After it's done rendering, just back out. Back out. And... Yes? You're done. Yay! Good job.
talking on my MacBook Spending every time Just time is money Keep spinning rhymes in my mind's feeling funny You're not just sit back